but they are just raw vegans and they did it wrong. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, it has been long enough. Yes, I'm still alive, not dead. Sorry vegans. So today we're going to continue where we left off with more vegan critiques. Today we have a couple of raw vegans here that want to share their secrets with us on how to stay warm in the winter time. Let's have a closer look. Do you want some hot water? No, I'm just demonstrating for Oh, <laughs> okay. Hey guys, so we're just filming a video um, with my friend Shiri. Say hi. Hey, Max. Oh, Max is here too, but he wasn't gonna Hello, be guys. the frame. Oh. Okay, so, <laughs> wait, <laughs> so, <laughs> you're out. we're talking about watermelon because it's our favorite thing, and um, we're talking watermelon about how to eat it without getting time. freezing cold. Okay, so Sharif has two tips, and I have something to show you guys about this. So, what's the first tip? One is eat it in a hot jacuzzi, which is not that practical a tip. Or hot shower, which I have done. Have you done that? No. Well, obviously. I keep a jacuzzi. He's eating it in a bath. Cringe. Okay, go on. What's the second tip? The uh. second one, it's kind of the same concept, and she alluded to it earlier, but I take a bell jar, and I fill it with the hottest water that What's I can What's a bell make. jar? Just a jar, just a mason jar. It's a okay. ball jar. Okay. okay. I did say bell, I think. Uh, and I fill it with really, really hot water, and I just like hug it while I eat the watermelon. Okay, can I tell you my tip? <laughs> huh? What? This is really embarrassing. You might need oh to back up a little. Okay, wait a second before the young lady continues. So this man feels so cold whilst eating his watermelon in the winter that he needs to fill up a jar with hot water and warm himself up externally. So not only is this complete mental illness, needless to say, but it defies the ideology of raw veganism as well, right? We shouldn't use fire. Fire is the downfall of mankind, if you believe raw vegan gurus such as John Rose. So why does this young man heat up water to heat himself up externally? Why can't he just cook a stew, some bone broth at least? Of course, this is just yet again another beautiful display of vegan brainwashing. Those guys are in a winter climate somewhere where you could never find watermelons. If you would live in a natural environment where you wouldn't import and export foods, you couldn't eat watermelon in the winter. So that is nature teaching you how to eat. If you couldn't get it in your natural environment, it probably is not the best idea to eat it now either. However, those guys deny nature and they deny their own biology. And of course, they get instant biofeedback. They are freezing. What else would you expect? A little bit. Just back up a little bit. Move your body a little bit. Jesus. Yeah, my body's moved. Okay. Here's what I do in my house. This is embarrassing, but it is what it is. I am always eating watermelon, and I turn on my toaster Why? oven. <laughs> okay, embarrassing. Okay, it I is. eat watermelon, I turn on my toaster oven, and I put my feet like in the toaster oven. Okay, now look. Can I show you guys? Look, 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 look. Wait, move this. Guys, guess what happened? My sock caught on fire. Literally. And you're proud <laughs> of this. This, in, this video just got <laughs> fat shit crazy. No, no, for honestly. Can you do me a favor? Can you zoom in? Can you take this is a cringe fest. This video didn't just get batshit crazy. It was batshit crazy when you said you're gonna eat watermelon in winter time whilst freezing. My camera yeah. and help. Look, look literally wearing watermelon socks, eating watermelon. My feet are what in the toaster. I'm shaking, freezing cold. That's my tip. But just be careful because uh, your sock can catch on fire, and it's not. That's ideal. your tip. It's definitely not ideal. You see the watermelon sock. The other so parts. So cute. Wait. Super cute. They're so cute. Yeah. By the way, if you have watermelon socks for me, I do. Uh, oh, all right. What am I seeing here? An uberly dominant woman surrounded by absolutely deranged soy boys, absolute effeminate soy boys, and they are coming up with ideas on how not to feel cold whilst eating watermelon in the winter. How about not eating the watermelon in the first place? Crazy idea, I know. Of course, the vegans will jump in and will tell me, yeah, it's just the crazy raw vegans again. But guys, you have to understand that this is only an extrapolation of the vegan idea. 
This is again a beautiful display of self-created suffering, self-induced suffering. Those guys suffer because they're going against their biology. And the same happens to you when you're eating all those grains, the beans, the legumes, the nuts, the seeds, all of that shit is not made for human physiology. And this is why you suffer. This is why you get IBS. This is why you get SIBO. This is why you get depressed. This is why your teeth are rotting out because you're going against your biology. So instead of pointing your finger onto those guys and saying, but they're just raw vegans and they did it wrong. No guys, they just did it more extreme than the whole food plant-based vegans. But going into the wrong direction is still the wrong direction, no matter at which pace you go. Watermelon socks, eating watermelon, my feet are in the toaster because I'm shaking freezing cold. That's my tip. But just be careful because your sock can catch on fire and it's not ideal. It's definitely not ideal. You see the water. Yeah, don't be careful about the nutritional deficiencies. Don't be careful that your body is literally sending you signals of starvation. You're shivering, you're cold, you have no animal fats to warm yourself up. Don't worry about it. Worry about your socks. By the way, if you have watermelon socks for me, I do t accept them every year at the Woodstock Fruit Festival. Use my code, Mr. for $100 off. But that's besides the point. Those are our tips. Thank you, Sharif. Okay, so now comment down below. Uh, comment down below your tips for eating a high fruit diet in a cold climate. Okay, <laughs> because I do have some other tips. How about don't do it? That's really warm. Put a hat on. Um, hold. No, he said this one already. Um, okay, Look sometimes I put guy. my oven on and I. Look at this gaunt face. And he really believes it's funny. He thinks it's funny that he's shivering just because three idiots found themselves and on top of that they have their support system of the fruit festival where more insane people meet each other and confirm their beliefs. This is why they feel comfortable in their illusion. Meanwhile, the reality of things is that they are starving, that they are shivering, that they need food, but they cannot get out of that delusion absolutely sad like almost like sit in the oven look at this idiot do you want some hot water no i'm just demonstrating for oh. you. <laughs> okay wow. um thank you guys for watching anything else you want to say thank no. you oh wait why do you eat a high fruit diet yeah why do you good for you yeah so oh well okay i eat a high, <laughs> high fruit diet because i want to feel really good I oh look at the man suffering you don't have any animal fats in your diet man you are starving and of course you will feel cold. On top of that, you get effeminate like all the other soy boys. You're losing your muscle mass, you're losing your fat, you're losing your manliness, absolutely disgusting. And of course, he doesn't have an answer to this dilemma. All he has to say is, oh, because it's good for you. How is it good for you, man? A blind man can see that you are suffering. I love, I feel like life is all about how you feel, right? So if you yeah. don't feel good, it doesn't even matter if you have money. It doesn't matter if you're- <laughs> What? Um, successful you're not gonna feel good you're not gonna be enjoying life life is all about oh. enjoying it and i feel absolutely the best eating fruit so, so you feel the best eating fruit whilst burning your socks off shivering in the winter time this is what you interpret as feeling good how life is about hydration what you eat either hydrates you or it de dehydrates you yeah she got yeah. it she got it yeah there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Bye. Wow. Bye. Wow. All right. And this is it. Every time I think it cannot get any worse, those vegans surprise me again. It's absolutely amazing to see. What they don't understand is that their diet is nutritionally deficient. Somehow they picked up on this trend, obviously from the internet. This is how people step into the same trap. You have ideologues on the internet preaching this deranged message. Absolute degeneracy here. You see people starving. You see people suffering, shivering, burning their socks. Meanwhile, the other guy is warming himself up with a hot water jug. This is insanity, guys. I don't have to tell you. Anyways, guys, just a quick video today. A cautionary tale here. Please do not go down the vegan or, God forbid, the raw vegan route. Guys, if you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. If you want to support the channel, guys, all the links 
in the description box below. So we have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related. On top of that, by joining, you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide. It is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition, but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals, no matter if you're keto, primal, paleo or even raw. All right, but this is it for today. Thank you very much for your support. And guys, from now on, expect more videos. I will upload on a daily again. I was a little bit under the weather. I had some personal stuff that I needed to figure out. But from now on, we are back in full effect. All right, guys, but this is it. And as always, much love and peace.